speak many words but for today I can't but I want to honor the presence of our fathers and mothers in the country and I also want to honor the presence of the my generation ministers that I'm representing Others are there, Pastor Isaac, I've seen Isaac. People that have been serving together with my brother. When my heart connected with the heart of Gideon, we, were, we got connected. I met somebody with the heart of Christ. And we began to see so many things right ahead. He began to be my friend, my brother. He was most many things. And our families got connected. That is war. But he's departed. We last met after he returned from Nairobi together with his dad. And when he came back, we felt a conviction to go and visit him. Sometimes I give him surprises of some surprise visits to him. And then we met at home. I, I said, Gideon, you're so good looking. And after we conversed and then we prayed. My wife took hold of faith, his, uh, Gideon's wife, and I took hold of Gideon and we prayed and cried. But I never knew what that, that moment meant. We prepared the wedding in the midst of great shaking. But I told him, Gideon, you have a grace to overcome. We are going to be victorious. I always prayed along with him that he will marry because I knew the temptations that are coming along against him. And when he told me, I said that is good. We prayed from day one until finally we had the wedding. We slept in the same hotel room. The next day was his wedding. I have not yet believed that my friend has left me. But all the glory I give it unto God. I know that Gideon. He's in such an enjoyable place. 
where he is it is the place I'm longing to reach we have been for, uh, talking about some things right ahead that we are going to achieve uh, the way we are going to bring up children I told him I have accomplished my children and you go ahead and begin giving birth I, I saw he was delaying and I'm telling him you, you need to give birth Heaven is full of joy. But for us, we've lost somebody who is so of profit. In such great sorrow, may the Lord speak unto us what He desires us to listen from Him. I would have a lot to speak. But because of time, and of what I'm going through, may we accept Gideon Gideon's wife she spoke to me on phone I was with her the whole day yesterday she, she said Emma I request that you may do to me one thing don't allow this to be a farewell service to my husband. Because my husband is not yet dead. The heart into which she speaks this, I understand it in two ways. They've just made one year anniversary in their marriage. They, they have been having true love in the midst of them. His, his wife left her nation to come and be married to Gideon. That sorrow makes her think the husband is not yet dead. But the, the other heart she's speaking in is the heart of faith that the Lord can resurrect the husband and because she's not yet here she wanted to stand in my space to speak to you that you may stand along with her to pray for the resurrection of the husband 